achieving 10% tree cover is a key milestone towards sustainable forest management. And this will be facilitated through planting high quality tree seedlings. This video is going to focus on what to consider when you decide to establish a tree nursery. Before starting a nursery, one should identify a suitable site. The location influences the effort that will be required to manage the nursery. Some of the factors to be considered in selecting the site include access to reliable water supply for nursery operations. One should also consider access to suitable soil, which will reduce the cost of transport for this medium, and also facing the morning sun. The nursery should also be safe from strong winds and livestock browsing. Secondly, each nursery will require some basic resources and facilities to allow for smooth operations, like a place to store the tools. If you shall use seed as jam plasm for your planting material, one will need a seed bed. These beds are typically 1 meter wide and 5 to 10 meters long to allow for easy working and 60 centimeter parts kept between beds. Slightly finer medium mix is used to allow the germination of smaller seeds. The sowed seeds will then be transferred to pot beds. A good practice is to have 25% of the area for pot beds. The beds should also be 1 meter wide and 5 to 10 meters long. 60 centimeter parts should be kept between beds. In areas with low rainfall, we can use sunken beds to allow for retention of much of the moisture. Some other seedlings will need to be placed in shading. You could use a shed net for this or other locally available material. The potting medium will most of the time be stored in a compost pit. To avoid contamination by pathogens, it's good to place these pits away from the pot beds. For more information, visit the Carefree website and also check out the next video on tree nursery management and operations.